another one of my, I don't want to say favorite characters, but one of the most interesting characters on the show is Cersei. Wow. Guess what she is. She's a quintessential eight, you guys. Quintessential eight. And I would venture to say she's an eight. Not that she's ever been, you know, completely integrated, but I, she's been disintegrating throughout all the seasons. So she's a beautiful example of, you know, someone who's probably a middle eight and how they, how does an eight lose it? How does an eight become increasingly unhealthy? She is the perfect example. First of all, eights are, they're very self-centered. They are all about survival. So we see from the beginning of the show, you know, Cersei is very bound to a patriarchal world and she has learned how to, you know, within the feminine world that they, the, the restrictions that they place on women um, in this world that they call Westeros, she has a, you know, she has maneuvered and has done whatever she needs to do. She's married whoever she needs to marry. She, um, behind the scenes, has manipulated situations to take people down. Um, much like an eight, she has figured out who her close people are, who is her quote-unquote family, right? Not only is it the Lannister family, but Cersei, you know, her children, and a lot of eights are like this. When it comes to their children, they will do anything to protect their children. You know, they're the heroes, they're the protectors, and they're the fighters. The eights are the fighters. So Cersei, you know, throughout the show, and, you know, spoiler alert, um, you know, she has killed people to protect her children. She has tortured people to protect her children. Um, she has done anything to get her children into positions of power, 